Okay. Here we are, fellas, fellerets, people. And you can see the wounded soldiers, the clocks from the collection. And we're here for a reason. I want to show you how to properly disassemble a clock. Now, there's one that we're going to work on. Now, this is a quarter striking clock, and we're basically going to take the pendulums off of these clocks. And there's a few, as you can see, there's quite a lot of clocks in my collection. I'm going to turn this one round first. Now, in order to do what we need to do, we need to get it turned around. Now, let me see. That's not working quite where I want it to be. There it is now. Okay. As you can see in the back of this clock, you'll find your rods. There's your rods there, look. And your pendulum. Now what you have to do when you're moving a clock to a new location is take your pendulum out. So in order to do it with this clock, there's the pendulum there where my finger is. There it has been agitated. Now for our friend Tessa, these here, my finger is, that there is a rod. That's one of the chime rods, the hammer there, look. There's the rods. Now, we're going to take the pendulum off. Just put your hand under it. And uh, what you have to do is Task to focus. lift it up. There's the pendulum. Taken from the clock. There's the clock without a pendulum. This is the piece of the clock here where the pendulum would fit. This is called the suspension. You may not be able to see there, but there's a piece at the top there where my finger is, which goes down to the rod. The rod goes through this piece here, which is part of the escapement. Now the rods are triggered by this here. This is a spine wheel which basically controls the hammers to hit these there's your rods so there's how you take a pendulum off of a clock that's the back end of Bella there's my wounded soldiers I've been shown in a different light there's a lot of these to take apart so we're going to try to do this as best we can Putting them, we might break a few as we go, but we'll see what we can do. This is another one. This is a bit easier to get into. I don't know how much that you can see. There's the rods again, look. There's the pendulum. And what you do is you have to take this piece, lift it up. It doesn't actually seem to want to lift up. There we go. Pendulum is off. No harm is done to the clock by doing that. But when you're doing this, you have to take them off. But this is another clock with the rods in the slant position. There's the top of the rod there. And you follow it down. And that gives you actually the best sound. I don't know how much of that you'll be able to see, but let me see. I can make this chime. That's 
missing a rod because the rods aren't broken it's just the chime is not happy you can see very slow very slow There are the rods, you can see that bit there, look. Now in order for these clocks not to move any more than they need to, just lock the chime in position. We'll get to that one in a moment. It's a wounded soldier. You can't really see, I'm going to have to... Put this one on the floor so people can see what we're dealing with here. This is a rod, this is a, a coil. This is one of the more important clocks. This is the other type of clock strike that you may or may not see too many of. Now for Tessa, this is important. Um, let me just get that. Oh dear. You can see the clock pretty much you see the big piece here in the middle this that there is where the hammer hits you can look at the hammer there that's a coil strike now these are a bit more difficult to take the pendulums from what you do is you take hold of the coil at least this is what I do you pull it out there's the coil been moved. And you're not really supposed to do that, but that's kind of what I've done. You take hold of the pendulum. There. Lift. And put it inside. Then you put the coil back in. There's the coil. You can see the the movement and all its glory. So there you go. This is how we deal with clocks. Um, as you can see, that one is a pretty nice clock too. Uh, this I don't know what make this is. Let me just show you the front of this. It's a really interesting looking clock. Uh, this has been shown on a video before. There you go. Yeah, you can see the flowery floor there, but that's one of my favourite clocks. Elapsed time. Eight minutes. Seconds. Well, I've been too Eight long minutes. here, Nine seconds. but there you go. Image. Hope this has been of use. Uh, just to give you some idea of how you take a clock to pieces, I'd be a lot quicker taking them to bits without this. So let's do it. And I'll speak to you all soon.